Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a product a products that I regret spending my money on video. So basically I always share like my favorite products um, from different brands and different categories on my channel. But I also feel like since I try out so many products there are a lot of things which I feel are kind of not that great or maybe I actually regret spending my money on them. And I also want to share that with you because I want that you don't make the same mistake and you don't spend money on products which are not worth it i want you guys to save your money and actually spend it on good products which is why i also like to share a products which i personally feel are not worth it and if any of these products you really like and they really work for you then i'm really sorry i don't want to offend any of you guys but yes if you haven't tried out these products and uh, you kind of want to know whether they are good or not or you just want to know products that you should not spend your money on then i think this video will be really useful for you so yes let's quickly get started without having a long introduction so moving on to two products which are actually very like similar to each other so i'll talk about them like together so the first one is by plum it's the grapeseed and sea buckthorn mild foam scrub and the second one is by avon nutra effects it is their three in one a scrub this is what it looks like so both of these are very similar they're supposed to be really mild uh, scrubs with which do a little bit of gentle exfoliation but let me tell you these two do not exfoliate at all and they don't make any sort of a difference um, in that aspect like generally with any kind of um, mild scrub there uh, it's supposed to improve your texture and feel like your skin is supposed to feel a little bit more smoother but these will make your skin feel exactly the same in fact i personally feel it kind of makes your skin a little bit worse because um it has like um, these exfoliating beads like in this one you can see the beads because they're a lot larger in size I hope you can see like tiny black dots but this one since it has like an opaque packaging you can't um, tell like right now but uh, yeah if you have ever used it uh, you can tell it's got these tiny um, like beads but both of the beads in like these two products feel very uh, plasticky and they don't feel like they're going to exfoliate at all they feel very artificial and these two products just do absolutely nothing and after you use it your skin feels like extremely weird and it does not even feel like cleansed at all since you're using these sort of products uh, they are supposed to cleanse and do a little bit of exfoliation but these do neither like nor do they cleanse nor do they mildly exfoliate and they just do nothing and i just think that you shouldn't spend your money on them also these two are not like extremely affordable i can't see the prices on either of these anywhere okay this one is for 499 so it's like 500 rupees for um, how much ml 100 ml and this one i'm not sure where the price is but it comes with uh, how much product it comes with 75 ml but i will leave the prices for like both of these in the description box so you can check it out especially for this one i'll let you guys know in the description box but yeah just save your money and don't spend it on these at least there are a ton of other um like mild gentle scrubs which you can use on an everyday basis and i'm actually planning to do a video on that very very soon so definitely stay tuned for that if you want some good recommendations of mild scrubs definitely stay tuned for that video and for that you can also subscribe and hit on the notification bell button because that way you'll get to know when that video goes live and when any of my video goes live you'll get to know so do subscribe and hit on the bell moving on next to a product which i feel a lot of people really love so i was late on trying out the product and even after i tried it out i did not really like it so this is the lactocalamine skin balance daily nourishing lotion and this is the oil control version so it has lanolin and glycerin in it and this one is supposed to be for oily to normal skin so this one um i kind of did not like i did not use up the entire thing i used like half of it and then since i did not enjoy using the product a lot i kind of like stopped using it and i just had it in my collection and um, then i was going through uh, my skincare like cabinet 
after a few months to see like what products are going to expire and i need to like use them up before they expire that's when i found out that this had actually gone bad so um, the rest of it i just threw it away and uh, currently this is completely empty but i still wanted to keep the bottle because i wanted to talk about this product with you guys so basically uh, the texture of this is the first thing which i don't like at all it's got this creamy um texture and it's also like light pink or like baby pink in color and um, even though this is supposed to be like oil control and for normal to um, oily to normal skin first of all it says oil control but i don't think it controls oil at all secondly it's super duper drying on the skin like if i use this as a moisturizer as it or like on its own it will not work it will ball up and it will it does not really feel moisturizing at all but then the texture does not really like sink into the skin and it kind of balls up in flakes so what how i used to use this like the half of it that i have actually used how i used it is i used to mix it with mix it in with my avon nutra effect facial oil so i took a little bit of this put like a few drops of my uh, avon facial oil in it and that's how i used it all over my face and it kind of worked that way but then i feel like if i have to like mix in a product with it to make it work then again it's not really worth it like if you already spend your money and you just want to get your money's worth then you can mix up products and use them but it's not really worth it and it does nothing so what's the point in having it and that's the reason why i kind of regret spending my money on this one moving on next to another face wash which i in the beginning i kind of liked it but then eventually i realized that it's pretty pointless and i don't really like it this is the swiss temple pollution defense face wash so it basically uh, says it's going to remove daily pollution it's got amla white tea and lemon verbena natural extracts and paraben free and it's supposed to be a product of switzerland i don't know if it's manufactured there or something like that but yeah this is what it looks like now you might have probably never heard about this but um, if you are um, like a consumer or if you shop oftenly at a food bazaar or big bazaar you might have seen the brand swiss temple there and they make some of the best body lotions and shower gels but um, in the face wash department i'm not really sure because at least this particular one i don't really like and i haven't tried any other face washes from them either but this has a very um, it's got a gel texture and it's a clear gel but uh, first of all it does not lather at all and it does not really feel like it's cleansing the skin secondly it's supposed to like um, like i used this when i uh, had to like get rid of my makeup or like when i came back from college and i wanted to wash my face to like cleanse really well that's when i always used this but i felt like it never cleansed at all and it's got a very like sticky texture so even though it's a gel but it feels like a sticky gel and it feels super duper weird when you actually use this and since it does not feel like it's actually cleaning your skin that's the reason why i feel it's not really worth it and i didn't really enjoy using this but i still used up i'm pretty sure the entire tube but yeah i would not recommend it i don't think it was great and i kind of regret spending how much did i spend on this 160 rupees for a 100 ml tube but then i still kind of regret spending that much money so yeah moving on to the last product which is by the brand himalaya now i personally love this brand and there are so many products from them which i absolutely freakingly love but their fairness kesar face pack is not one of them because it feels super duper drying on the skin so it's one of those clay based sort of masks but uh, if a clay based mask actually works then i don't mind the fact that it's drying but this one even though it's drying it does absolutely nothing so a kesar face pack is supposed to kind of brighten the skin and give you like a glowing complexion but this one does absolutely nothing i don't know why i don't know how but even though it has kesar and turmeric it does not brighten up the complexion it does not it does not do anything at all and that's the reason why i do not like this but um, yeah i feel there is nothing more to say about it it just does not work which is why i kind of regret spending my money on it 
and yeah that was it those were the products which i personally regret spending my money on i also do have some more products which um i don't exactly regret spending my money on them but then they're also kind of like man products and i will be doing a video on that just now like after i film this video i'm going to film that video so if you see me in like the same makeup and the same clothes and same hair it's because i filmed it just after that but yes uh, i hope you found this particular video helpful do stay tuned for the next video which i'm going to film after this and yes like i mentioned earlier please do subscribe to my channel because that way um, it will help me a lot and it also let you guys know whenever i like post new videos you can keep like up to date and especially to keep up to date i would highly recommend that you hit on the notification bell button because that way you'll get a notification when i post a new video and i will leave the names to all these products in the description box just in case you want to refer or any of those things and i'll also leave my social media handles so you can also um, check out my instagram and my snapchat i do post quite a bit of content on instagram on snapchat i'm not super duper active but you can still follow me there if you want to and yes that was it thank you so 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 much for watching this video guys so yes i'll go for now and um that's it i don't have a proper outro as such but yeah thank you so 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 much for watching until next time bye